Death and Zulu breathes life into Bayanihan Act. Act. Enthused by the passion to fulfill its vow in providing the best services to its clients, Deped Cebu Province Division has hovered an initiative to back up the government's Bayanihan to heal as one act, making it tangible in the hearts and minds of the Subuanos. Enacted into law by both the Senate and House of Representatives, with Senate Bill Number no. One Four One Eight and House Number. No. 6616 of the Philippines through Republic Act 11469 dated March 24, 2020. An act declaring the existence of a national emergency arising from the coronavirus disease 2019 COVID-19 situation and a national policy in connection therewith and authorizing the President of the Republic of the Philippines for a limited period subject to restrictions to exercise powers necessary and proper to carry out the declared national policy and for other purposes otherwise known as the Bayanihan to heal as one act has been the anchor of DepEd Cebu's ingenuity dubbed as Halad para sa COVID-19 frontliners that engages the 23,000 teaching and non-teaching personnel to share willingly from their pocket. Halag, hiniusang aksyon, lamdaman, alayan, ugdalaikun. Para COVID-19 frontliners is a love gift launch for the frontliners who have offered their lives to help the government in battling the wreaked havoc caused by this pandemic. As a huge school division, Deped Cebu Province, through the leadership of Dr. Marilyn S. Andales, Schools Division Superintendent, has raised funds through voluntary contribution amounting to 2,912,333 pesos as of April 24, 2020 at 7.37 p.m. The 2.9 m is the upshot of the Bayanihan spirit of the 23,000 men and women coming from the three clusters of Deped Cebu who united themselves for a noble cause. Cluster A with 19 schools districts generated 852,752 pesos. Cluster B with 22 schools districts raised 938,955 pesos. Cluster C with 17 schools districts added 832,376 pesos and the division office personnel shared 144,125 pesos. As to this date, Deped Cebu province has provided 500 boxes of surgical masks, 600 bottles of 500 ml alcohol, 400 boxes of surgical gloves, 200 pieces of protective suit, 10 boxes bottled water, 10 boxes tissue paper, 65 sacks of rice, 200 pieces of face shields, and a 30,000 worth of assorted biscuits to the front liners stationed in the 44 municipalities of Cebu province and its three component cities, such as Lapu-Lapu City, Mandawi City, and Cebu City. Apart from the donations received directly from the school's districts, the public school's district supervisors, together with the school heads and teachers in the 58 school's districts, have joined forces in coming up with innovations to take care of the frontliners in the municipalities where they are in. Halad para sa COVID-19 frontliners was jointly conceptualized by Deped Cebu Province Division Management Committee, inspired and spearheaded by SDS Andales, and ably assisted by the three assistant school division superintendents, Dr. Esther A. Futalan, Dr. Cartesa M. Perico, and Dr. Leia B. Apao, Chiefs Dr. Mary Ann P. Flores of Curriculum Implementation Division, and Dr. Novi O. Mangubat of Schools Governance Operations Division. Unit Section Heads, TID and SGOD Education Program Supervisors, and other personnel who hold critical roles and responsibilities during the crisis. Salamat kayo ninyo, ma'am, ha? Tubagyo sa ginoo ang among mga patang. A certain police officer remarked, 
Likewise, medical frontliners were given gears to protect them from virus contamination. They exclaimed. Moreover, the checkpoint frontliners of the municipality of Cordova, Cebu, expressed their gratitude to DepEd Cebu Province, headed by the Dynamic Schools Division Superintendent, Dr. Marilyn Sumalinog Andales, for the relief goods shared to them. Ma'am Andales, you always add value to people's lives by being of service. Reiterating Mother Teresa's declaration, It's not how much we give, how much love we put into giving. They said, The strict implementation of the Enhanced Community Quarantine, or ECQ, in the province of Cebu has barred the division personnel in distributing the supplies to the different municipalities and cities. Plus, the MANCOM decided to turn them over to the provincial governor Honorable Gwen Garcia, believing the Honorable Governor has a wide reach and control over the municipalities and cities comprising the entire Cebu province. We, we heal, heal and, and we, we will, will as one. Well.